out there, you you YouTubers. Uh, this is going to be episode one of uh, What's in My Drawers. If you notice, I'm wearing a hat. Sometimes I would wear a hat, sometimes I don't. Not had a chance to uh, shave and wash my hair yet today. So rather than being the nice guy that I am, rather than subject the YouTube community to just a bad hair day before I wash my hair, I shall wear a hat for this video. Okay, take one. Hopefully the only to actually is take two. I had some uh, had a computer glitch and wiped out the first take. So, uh, welcome to uh, what's in my drawers. All right, what a whirl around, huh? Okay, these are the drawers in question, the dim ones that you can't even see from right here. All righty, these here are just boxes. Nothing interesting there. Not anything interesting here. Anyway, here is the drawer. Right here. Two handles on it. Not that that's important to the price of tea in Denmark whatsoever. Okay. I'm taking the drawer out. We're not going to look through it right here because the lighting sucks right there. We're going to take this, carry this drawer in here to my bedroom where I've predetermined a place where I know the lighting to be much, much better. Anyhow, there is an overview of the contents of my drawer. Now let's get down to business here. Camera up here, get it all arranged right. All right, now let's get started. Okay, first item, a Pizza Hut pizza coupon. All right, got to have those. All right, let's see. Here we have have a ball of string. Everybody needs a ball of string. This is some good strong stuff right here. Okay, here we go. Oh, here's something that's quite interesting. This is a power cord. Not just any power cord. Yeah, let's see. It. Yeah, they will plug into themselves. Naturally. Anyhow, stupid comment. Uh, power cord about a foot long. But the interesting thing about this, it's designed to, uh, if you've got a piece of furniture that you want to ram right up against the wall, if you'll notice that, uh, well, it's an extension cord, I guess you call it. It's, it's flat here, and not only is it flat, the doggone thing rotates. Everybody needs about a half a dozen or more of these things that uh, are flat and rotate. They're just wonderful little things. Moving on, moving on. Now we've got uh, the case. I don't know what's in the case. Or I wouldn't if I hadn't already done take one. <laughs> okay, so... We got some Super Mario uh, Nintendo games. I don't even think I shall bore you with the titles. Of, well, why not? Super Mario Deluxe, Motocross Maniacs, Donkey Land 2, X Men, Dukes of Hazard, Caesar's Palace. Okay, just a Duke's mix mixture of Nintendo games. Uh, we have here uh, Sound Feeder Wireless Player Adapter which uh, it's MP3 type of thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. You hook your uh, CD or whatever into it, uh, and it'll play through your car your car stereo, which I actually tried this. It worked, but uh, reception was crappy. I bought a more expensive Belkin. Uh, I got this at a flea market for a buck, and then I got a more expensive Belkin that worked just that much better for $35 a couple of years or so ago. So... Uh, that's not a very good system uh, because, uh, you know, playing the, the, the MP3s with the wireless going into your car stereo. But sometimes it works good and sometimes, uh, sometimes not so good. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, we have a uh, power cord that goes into maybe a maybe a power adapter. That's what we got there. I know I'm shaking stuff around too much. I'm going to have to slow it down. Slow it. Okay. Moving on, moving on. A VCR Plus and a little holder that that, uh, that holds the VCR Plus. And it slides in here. If you don't know what a VCR Plus is, uh, this is what people used to uh, help them uh, program their, uh, their VCRs with. It was a VCR Plus. You would look up a code in the TV guide and enter that code on this keypad here and uh, point it at your VCR 
and if you were darn lucky your VCR would uh, <laughs> would turn on uh, they were a little problematic as far as I was concerned uh, sometimes your VCR would turn on sometimes they would not get the signal properly okay we have here a Microsoft Microsoft Sidewinder plug and play gamepad uh, pretty good looking gamepad I guess I have never used uh, this particular one but it seems good and solid and sturdy not much of a gamer too much uh, too much tendonitis, too much carpal tunnel. Uh, okay, we have here a little stretchy thing. A little stretchy thing here. Uh, this is actually, I broke my collarbone uh, rollerblading here, uh, I don't know, let's say two years ago, and then partway through your recovery, they give you this little stretchy thing here to do all kind of, you know, look, here's one of them they'd have you do, that little exercise like that. Yeah, I don't know, there's some um, various ones. I can't remember all of them now, but uh, actually I, I made 100% recovery and I did use this diligently. Um, I didn't have no frozen shoulder from not moving my arms around or anything, so you know, do your rehab if you ever have any kind of injury. More of that story. Okay, here we have a... Yeah, let's take a look at all kind of other stuff. Let's see, slow down because I know I'm blurring the heck out of all these things here. Um, RCA jacks. Plug it into your stereo or a video type of stuff. So I, that's probably a video one right there and a couple of audio ones on each end. Uh, so that's three on each end. I think your uh, lower quality uh, lower quality ones just have, uh, this is probably stereo I suppose, uh, the lower quality ones would just have a video and one of these for uh, mono audio. Okay, moving on. Um, Nintendo Game Boy, I got this one at a yard sale. I haven't uh, even checked it out yet. Neither have I checked out all those games. Okay, on to what's in my drawer. This uh, is one of these contraptions. Plugs into your cigarette lighter and then you can, uh, you can just plug in all sorts of uh, other things in, in, that uh, would uh, that you would normally be pl plugging into your cigarette lighter but you wouldn't uh, you know, this makes four out of one, so you can plug all manner of things in there. And, uh, you know, just keep your fingers crossed you're not blowing any fuses or anything. Okay, here's the Texas Instruments, a uh, small little calculator here. It, it works just fine. Okay, moving on. Oh, how about this? Here's a yo-yo. A what kind of yo-yo? Duncan Imperial yo-yo. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. I haven't played with this one. <laughs> yeah, this is easier on my carpal tunnel than a Game Boy would be. I can tell you that much right now. Well, really, it's not so much carpal tunnel as it is this bad finger joints. I'll just use that. Carpal tunnel is a generic term because that's what everybody seems to have. Okay, another Game Boy. This one here, the yeah, has another yard sale one, but it's really got a loose, a very loose controller. I mean, the, the pad there is just really loose. And I played the smack out of it. More, more RCA, RCA cables there for your stereo. Here we have a, uh, I don't know, a little metal thing that goes, a wrought iron metal thing with a little coil on the, each end of it. Here we have a, a radio, AM, FM, TV, GPX uh, radio. Uh, I never have used this particular one. Uh, We'll see it works, but I don't know. Another little tiny radio. We have power outages every now and then here, so I like to have radios on, on hand so I can listen to how to see if anybody's more unfortunate than I am as far as the power outages. Uh, or more fortunate, whatever. Another another power adapter, the power extension cord, but this one's there's nothing special about it. It's just a little short one to make something one foot longer. Okay, well, another radio. How well do you know? This one's, uh, I guess you say it might be a little, no, it's not a little more expensive. Uh, just, uh, this a little cheap in NDR sports or something. This one here is the one that's a little bit more expensive. If that's actually a uh, Sony, Sony, I'm uh, just checking to see if my light and how, how it looks. Sony um, Walkman AMFN, but it's just not a digital or anything. It's just a manual thing, so it's probably not... Got enough heat sensor there. Then we've got a um, a big box of 
I need to be holding all these up closer here, I know. So maybe I can do that right at the very end with no commentary if anybody didn't get a good looking on. This just fits over the uh, over the top of a uh, Nintendo the Game Boy to make it make it look bigger. And here we have here we have a, uh, a clamp. Everybody needs, you know, like a dozen of these things. They come in handy, just all manner of things. Here we have a tin, just a little, just a kind of a cute little tin here. But whatever in it. Can't put the whole contents of the drawer in it. I wish I could. I wish I could just zap it, shrink it down, put it right in there. Then I could, uh, you know, fill my drawer back up with more stuff. Okay, here we go. Coffee grinder manual. Not that they're very complicated enough to even need a granule, a granule, <laughs> a manual. Um, I don't. Never. I know. I don't even drink coffee. Um, I used to grind flax and uh, put it in water and drink it. Health reason things. It's what omega three or something's in it. Uh, various strings. Various strings. Well, we got some wire here. This little. A little thin, very thin wire. Every now and then you need a little thin wire for something. I mean, don't take them. See, I kind of have a little bit of a pack wrap, but I try to keep it small. I try not to pack wrap like big stuff, like used automobiles or something like that. And here's a Motorola power adapter. I don't think I have anything that's Motorola, so it's kind of not too good for me. And here's some earbud type of headphones here. Goes with one of those multitude of videos. And here's a bicycle uh, bicycle uh, lock type of thing. I don't have a lock to go with it, but I can get a lock. And that's the end. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, is the contents of my drawer. Okay, let's take a look at what it all looks like. Kind of all strung out here. There is the drawer. Mm, there is the contents of my drawer. Really, really quickly in case, let me pause on each one. Pause on each one because I know that I didn't do a good job at all of showing all this wonderful stuff. You know, just all these great treasures. I know y'all bound to want to see everything one more time. I mean, like, who hasn't saw pencils before, or radios, or clamps, or VCR pluses, or wireless sound deals, or Duncan yo-yos, or a little blue tins, or radios, or RCA cables, or bicycle locks, or Motorola adapters, or Nintendo games, or more. RCA cables, or, or Microsoft Sidewinders, or little spools of wire, or Nintendo, or balls of string, or little little power cord things that, uh, as I say, uh, the thing just spins around here. <laughs> okay, so that has been. Um, automatically going around where I know the light might be just that much better. Uh, so that's been a tour of my drawer, episode one of What's in My Drawers. And, uh, well, this is a fairly easy video to shoot, so it's one reason I, I kind of like it. Uh, I'm shooting this in a whole lot less time than it took me to do the, the uh, Floby, uh, Floby video. Probably you might find it even more interesting. Or, well, who knows. Uh, so I guess that's about it. So I'm not, I, don't, I doubt if I even edit this thing. I'll probably just put it up just straight like it is. Maybe one or two little cuts. And so okay, Lincoln Zoid over and out.